Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we are talking about how shorts are required $20 billion to not be margin called, how AMC will bankrupt shorts, the $1.4 trillion in margin, and many more in this video. So straight away, we're going to take a look at this. UBS is getting cash called by the Swiss government as they know the threat of banks' insolvency is real and incoming. UBS added capital needs of 15 to 25 billion dollars are realistic. So what is the problem right now? Well, firstly, we have to understand is that UBS holds the toxic swaps of AMC in which they inherited from Credit Suisse. So right now, governments are worried about big banks collapsing and want them to have more capital to off risk. Uh, offset risk. Banks are saying it will make banking more expensive for investors, but bank bailouts are very expensive for taxpayers. And remember, authorities locked up the details of Credit Suisse collapse for 50 years. Currently, UBS Group AG faces an increase in regulatory capital requirements that could reach around $20 billion on the reforms proposed in the wake of the collapse of Credit Suisse. So the Federal Council wants systematically important Swiss banks to hold significantly more capital against their foreign units, while bank-specific capital levels should be boosted to take future risks more into account. The proposals would see UBS face a substantial increase in regulatory capital requirements, the government said last week, and again, facing the $20 billion capital hit on the Swiss plan. So let's take a look at this and understand exactly what is happening. So we know with some of the reasons. Firstly, you have to understand is that it all started with Archegos, the toxic swaps, in which then was passed to Credit Suisse. And when Credit Suisse bankrupt, it was then inherited by UBS. And now what we're seeing is that UBS, because of these toxic swaps, are facing the same problems in which Credit Suisse and Archegos is facing. However, the difference is, is that UBS is deemed as a too big to fail bank and therefore Governments don't want UBS to go bankrupt like Archegos did, like Credit Suisse did, and that's why they're desperately trying to recover them out. We've seen recently about what Credit Suisse has been up to. Again, we've talked about how Credit Suisse is firstly a participant, uh, a counterparty in the reverse repo, meaning they gain access to extra liquidity to, again, offset the risk, offset the loss. We also saw that they were put on the FICC for the same reason, to gain access to more capital liquidity, to make sure that the toxic swaps is still not in a position where it will bankrupt UBS. However, what we're seeing right now is that despite all of these attempts, despite how they're trying to recover from AMC shorts, it is still becoming a problem. And again, the exposure that UBS has right now is becoming too serious to the point where, again, governments are trying to make sure that it does doesn't actually bankrupt them. And so what we could be seeing right now is again, um, you know, banks facing the same problem like they did in 08, obviously this time with a different issue. What we also could be seeing in terms of what relates with AMC is again, the price of AMC being suppressed. Right now, we're actually not seeing this. And this is the exact reason for why we're uh, seeing this problem for these shorts right now. Because again, every time they try to suppress AMC, whilst they push the price down, they're spending billions of dollars to push the price down in the hopes that people sell. But people never sell. And when the price actually bounces back, it then causes more losses for these firms. And that's what they are facing right now. And again, this is how AMC will bankrupt shorts because they've spent so much money to try and suppress AMC. And that is becoming too big to a problem where a bank deemed too big to fail is actually going to fail and is at the verge of collapsing and needs a government bailout right now. Furthermore, what you guys can see is this. ISDA reports $1.4 trillion in margin was collected at the end of 2023 for non-cleared derivative exposures unchanged year over year. With participants closing the year of high exposure in 2022, I have questions how and what you're seeing you guys can see 1.4 trillion of initial margin which is unchanged from the previous year so this essentially allows us to understand what sort of scale of margin of exposure we are seeing in the market right now now obviously not all 1.4 trillion is in amc but we do know is having the understanding that again shorts aren't just in amc they are in a lot of assets as well and because of the fact that they are tied down by amc they're worried about what's happened and the vice versa will happen. Other assets which will have effect towards these banks, towards these short sellers, will then affect their position in AMC. The fact we know that is 1.4 trillion and the fact we know that is unchanged year over year, 
means that they can't easily cover these exposures that they are in need of the margin hence why we're seeing such a big number again given the market condition which they are predicting of markets obviously collapsing it will be wise for them to reduce their margin reduce their exposure to make sure they can protect their capital the only reason why they're not is because they can't because they actually are trapped in that position and so you guys can see exactly what's happening with amc shorts right now we have banks again like i said needing more capital they require more capital so they don't get margin calls so they don't default we're seeing the 1.4 trillion in margin remain the same meaning that they are still over leveraged and still overexposed to all these toxic positions and it isn't just the one bank ubs which again affiliated with amc shorts but it's all these other banks out there all these other institutions firms hedge funds short sellers who are all actually exposed and who are all actually all involved in this play and that's exactly why they're trying to suppress amc you guys can see peter Hahn says as a guess max paying is 350 this week don't really care these levels are nonsense given the cash on hand expected theoretical releases for the rest of the year and 2025 not to mention all other new revenue streams ignoring precious metal prices and how much hymc is sitting on or that amc has a large stake in H hymc um, yeah, ignoring all these prices still are silly low rampant speculation on my part I need to get people to sell before T plus one and cat takes effect. So again, like I've talked about what we've seen recently, the AMC price going up, we're up 10.12% um, yesterday, we're up 9.56% today. So pretty much a total of 20% in two days. Now, again, some of the reasons for this is because we talked about what's about to happen in May. We have actually many things happening. Again, the T plus one, meaning that should have less time to obviously try and manipulate and suppress the price. Um, the CAT system, which allows us to understand the transparency of the markets. And so again, a another decrease in and limitation on how shorts can suppress and we also have the potential of the reverse repo actually going to zero by the end of may and again what we talked about earlier reverse repo is a massive liquidity pool a, a easy way for um the short sellers to gain access to liquidity it's how we're seeing ubs still actually surviving with credit swiss right now and so they understand that this is happening right now and one of the things they can do it's obviously by covering some of their shares. But what we have to understand is that because they cover their shares, it doesn't mean the squeeze place is over. What we talked about is covering the real shares that they have. But this in comparison to actually the overall short position is tiny amounts. What we've already known is that they've shorted the float. But what we also know is that they have shorted the float many times over. So whilst they can cover, you know, exactly the amount of how much shares there are on, on the market right now, all the real shares, they still have the big of synthetics that they haven't covered and so it doesn't mean the short squeeze is over it just means that right now we're seeing them panic as they are trying to cover the real shares because of what's about to happen and that's why we're seeing the price obviously go up furthermore you guys can see this short interest jumped to 21.4 percent remember this doesn't include thousands of short funds outside the usa as they don't need to report their short interest it doesn't include the isda contracts and swap trading between institutions either the real short interest is likely astronomically high now this actually adds up to what we talked about here so here we're talking about how they're trying to cover because they are um scared of what's about to happen they're also trying to get people to sell like what we've seen because they need the real shares and again one of the ways they're trying to get people to sell and why because the reason they want people to sell is because they need to buy the real shares off you remember we know that they need to cover real shares and the retail investors hold the majority of the real shares and those that they need you to sell and what we're seeing is again short interest going up to 21.41 percent again this is the very minimum because there are a lot of non-reported data which it isn't given we're looking at the short interest for shares at 56.23 million shares so furthermore what we can understand right now is again as we see this number go up it means that they are scared of amc because again the only reason why they will increase their short interest why they will, they will increase their short position is because they need to push the amc price down normally when you go with the trend and you see that a stock has gone up 20 percent in the past two days you're very likely to cover your shorts you're not likely to actually double down on your shorts but the reason why they double down on their short is because they are afraid of even a five percent movement from amc let alone 20 percent 
because again these movements have massive effect and we've talked about this firstly the 1.4 trillion in margin you guys can understand how movements in price will obviously affect the margin we've also talked about what we said earlier about again the capital needed remember the higher amc goes the more capital ubs needs and what we could be seeing is to go from 20 to 25 from 25 to 30 and again right now they're struggling for 20 so let alone uh, the damage it will do to them when it goes to 30 40 50 and this is only one of the banks and this bank is right now in the limelight because they are close to collapsing what we have to understand is that there are also tens and potentially hundreds of firms that are out there who are also right now maybe not on the brinks of collapsing but also are in high need of capital but it just isn't as um, big as UBS and again isn't in the limelight but yeah guys thanks for watching this video I'll catch you guys next time